So you had already been part of a successful movie production. So you saw the process already. When you're working on Juice, did you have any idea this was going to be a classic? No. No idea? No, I no fucking idea. I'm going to tell you something I never mentioned before, uh, Too Tough. Uh, I Juice, I never read the script. Hmm. Lean on me, I never read the script. You know what I'm saying? I, You know that... You know, we don't read scripts before scripts. It takes time. You have yeah. to be into that. I'm a kid. I'm gonna fuck read the script. You got a job. What, I'll take right. it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? And I took it scene for scene, and that could have really hurted me because you you don't film in order, so you you don't know what's gonna happen next if you don't read the script. Mm -hmm. If you read the script, we can start at the end and then go right here. Then you know, okay, well, this scene after this. I go into this, so I don't need to do X, Y, and Z, or I need to do X, Y, and Z to set up for where I'm going. I, I had none of that. You know, I just went from with the sides. This is what we're doing today. Da, da, da. And we read different portions. Oh, yeah, you get shot in the script. Oh, yeah, I do. Where that's at? Okay, boom, boom, boom. And then read around that. Okay, did I get shot? What happened? That basically like that. Uh, and that end up being almost like a blessing that I was able to pull it off because I wouldn't I kind of wouldn't think about doing that nowadays I wouldn't think about doing a movie without reading the script you know because it's it's, it's gonna guide me through and help me so much with the character mm -hmm. but I didn't do it then you know and that was one of the things that kind of like I was like whoa but to see how the character felt right in place just like if I had read the script, you know, was 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 a major. Well, listen, I mean, Juice was a classic. Uh, you know, you can watch it today and it'll still be a great movie. This right. is right. I still 20, 25 years later. Um, you know, and a lot of people said that after Juice, Tupac really took on this Bishop character. Would you Would you agree or disagree with that? In terms of, you know, he took it on permanently. He became Bishop after that movie. 21st I think, seven. I think what, 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 what that is, you, you, you got more familiar with who Pac really was after the movie. And he had a platform to allow you to witness that. Because prior to Juice coming out and everything, like, this was Pac. When we was in the auditions, you know, like, you know, we he, he's auditioning for the role. You know, he's not even that familiar with it. So, like, this was seen, like, after we had that dinner, when we all went out and it was trying to see who jailed, me, Tupac, and David Heyman left in the cab together. This was the time when cabs was not stopping for black men, period. Mm. Pac had it out with the cab driver, which was a black cab driver. And a back and forth debate, back and forth debate. And I think David witnessed that the level of intelligence and passion that Pac has for himself and his people. And I think that really sealed the deal because one of the producers got to witness like, that's Bishop. You see what I'm saying? So I won't go with the narrative of, okay, uh, Pop turned into Bishop after Juice uh, took on the road. No, he was already that. Yeah, he just he just had the platform after that to allow y'all to see it. The movie comes out, and uh, does it initially do well? Yeah. Uh, when Juice, when Juice, see the soundtrack dropped right. prior to the movie when the soundtrack dropped oh boy and that video came out we all in the video and everything oh it was just like i had a rap album out you know i got the gold record till this day at my mother's house because i always wanted to be a rapper you know it was always you know i was always in, intrigued by that like acting was one thing but rapping like yo i want to go on tour be on a tour bus be on stage right. rocking the whole coliseum right and, and, and honestly to this day and I'm sure lots of people are going to disagree with me, but I feel that Know the Ledge was Rakim's greatest yes. song ever. 
the yeah. imagery right. of that song. And I know people are going to say, oh, no, it's, it's this, it's that. But that song right there, I absolutely love it. Like, from the beat to the way he was spitting to, you know, like, the the style and the content. Right. Just an incredible fucking song. Right. Shout out to Rakim, man. Yeah, and uh, that was the intro song to the, to the movie, to right? The movie. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I never had an a, a, a album uh, to make it to the top of the charts or a theme or a hit song or whatever. But that that's my theme song. Uh, and I, I pr- it probably would be all of our theme song. I don't think any of us could walk into any club anywhere, any party, and the DJ see us and that song doesn't uh, come on. Mm. And it's like a feeling of like, you know, you own this. This, yeah, yeah, that's you know, that's this juice. Time. Right, right. You got enough to go around. Right, 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 <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So it was. It, it's and thanks, thanks, Rakim for that man. He he gave us a, a real anthem until this day. Yeah. Till this day, man. I was I, I was at a, a a Fifty Cent concert some years ago. Fifth was on stage rapping. I wound up getting on stage. You know me. I I don't be all into going through all of the shenanigans and all that. Hey, Fifth, what's good? Right in the middle of this show. <laughs> Fifth looked over his shoulder and seen it was me. This man stopped his damn show and gave me mad love. Like, yo, do y'all see who the fuck is on this stage right now? Hold up. I watch this movie every fucking day till today. Don't nothing play in my house but juice. Mm. The crowd went wild. He gave me that, turned right back around and got right back in the, you would have thought that we rehearsed that shit <laughs> and right back into it and, and rocked it, man. Mad shout, mad love the fifth, man. You know, mad love, you know. Well, I see you, boy. You know? 